Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the power cord on your gas cooktop, be sure to unplug the existing power cord, if applicable, and shut off the gas supply. Carefully lift off all three grates. Remove all five burner caps and the burner bases. Remove all of the control knobs. You can use string or wire to help pull them off of the valve stems. Now use a T20 Torx bit to unthread all of the screws, securing the orifice holders to the main top. With the screws unthreaded, you can lift off the top. Disconnect the power cord wire connector and pull it out of the retainer. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the grounding wire. Now use pliers to release the strain relief to fully remove the old cord. Install the new power cord by feeding the wires through the cooktop base, then snap the strain relief into position. Secure the grounding wire to the base with the screw. Feed the wires through the retainer and connect the wire connector. Realign the main top on the base so the spark electrodes protrude through the holes in the top. Confirm that the orifice holders are aligned, then thread and tighten the screws to secure the holders to the main top. Replace the control knobs by aligning them on the valve stems and pushing them into place. Align each burner base with the appropriate orifice holder so the igniter electrode protrudes through the hole in the base. Next, position the burner caps on the bases. Align the three burner grates on the support brackets and gently lower them. With the repair completed, turn the gas supply back on. Plug the new power cord in and your gas cooktop should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.